Hi everyone, I'm feeling inspired and what I'm feeling inspired by today is the novel Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and it's many 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 movie adaptations over the years. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jane Eyre is a Victorian novel about um, a young woman called Jane Eyre who goes to work for a man named Mr Rochester um, and subsequently falls in love with him. She's the governess to his ward. And um, she is described as being little and plain. Um, she hasn't got any great beauty to her. And, and there's a wonderful quote, which I've sort of forgotten, um, when she's confronting Mr Rochester. And she says something along the lines of, um, just because I am poor and little and plain, it doesn't mean that I have no feelings and I have no heart. And um, it's, it's a wonderful book and it's where the phrase uh, plain Jane comes from to describe someone as, um, if you're describing someone as a plain Jane, um, that's where the phrase is believed to have originated. Okay, so in tribute to plain Jane, um, I am going to show you a Victorian bun um, that I refer to as a, a plain Jane bun. Um, Comparatively speaking, it's a pretty fancy one by today's standards, but in Jane's time, um, this would just be basic for women of her class. Um, she is a servant, but she's, she's sort of above the housekeepers and the general uh, maid of all work. Um, she's a governess, uh, so she's one of the higher members of the household. Right, uh, anyway, what you're going to need for this is your hairbrush, you are going to need something to part your hair with, um, so a hair stick or a pencil, um, anything that you can use to, to make a part in your hair. Um, you're going to be doing your favourite kind of um, bun, whichever one you fancy. Um, we'll say a cinnabun, let's say we'll do a cinnabun. Um, so you're going to need hair grips and spin pins to hold that in place if you have them. But the first thing you're going to do, as always, is to detangle your hair. And you're going to get your chopstick, hair stick, or pencil, and you're just going to divide the hair just in front of your ears. I'm just going to grab mine now. So there we go, let me just find my ear here. Pull this hair forward, flip the rest of it back, and I'm just going to. Draw the part all the way across, down both sides. So that we have these two parts here and the rest of the hair just behind the ears. I'm just going to tie this off for the moment. clip here. I'm going to just twist these just out of the way for the moment and clip them under my chin. The beard effect. I saw uh, La Dolly Vita doing this and although it does look silly it does help. It keeps everything out of the way. Okay so that's now clipped out of the way and I don't have to worry about it. What we're going to do with this is as I said you're going to do your favourite bun. I'm just going to do a regular Cinnabon um, Nothing Fancy Jane wouldn't have had a fancy bun, she wasn't a fancy woman. Um, in my favourite adaptation, which was made in 1997, I think, and stars Samantha Morton as Jane and Kieran Hines as Mr Rochester, um, they go into a town um, and they uh, he's buying something for Jane. I, I don't want to tell you what because um, it will ruin He's buying an item of clothing for her, let's put it like that. And um, they start having an argument about whether, um, about the style that uh, he's going to buy her because she wants something plain and simple and he wants her to have the most lavish and um, prettiest thing that he can possibly buy her. Um, and he says to her, I just want to show the world how beautiful you are, and she says, I'm not beautiful, I'm just Jane Eyre. Um, and it's a lovely, it's a lovely little scene, I can't actually remember if it's in the book. But uh, 
As Jane is plain and simple, we are going to go with a plain and simple bun. So you just want to tie that back into a ponytail and you want this to be high up. Okay, so right sort of near the crown of your head. Um, you're going to twist that into a regular silly bun. I've just lost my clip here, but this is out of the way, so it doesn't matter. And secure it um, with your spin pins and your um, hair grips, whichever is easiest for you. I'm going to use my spin pins because they're fantastic. So we've got just a nice simple bun there held in place with um, spin pins. Okay, so what makes this look um, Victorian um, is the twists that are going to go at the front here. And um, you just need to smooth down to your chin and twist. Now the twist will move up, um, but we don't want it going too high. So. Uh, you want to hold it down by your ears, well, so it goes in front of your ears. And what's going to happen is you're going to pull that back around like that. And what you want, ideally, is for this twist here to be loose over the ear. Um, it wasn't um, deemed acceptable to have your um, ears on display. Um, unless, I guess, you were a noble woman. Uh, who had pierced ears and wanted to show off her earrings. Um, certainly Jane wouldn't have. So I'm going to carry on twisting at the back here. I like how it's going at the front here. And I'm going to twist my little twist around my bun like that. I'm going to grab another hair grip and just pin that in place. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, so twist, I'm going to twist the other way, I'm going to twist away from my face, I've decided. So make sure that it's even on both sides and that the little poofs over the ears are even. This one, cross it over at the back, twist it around the bun, and pin in place with a hair grip. I'm just breaking all my hair grips and they're running away for fear of their lives. I don't know. There we go. That. I think that's right. Yep, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see the detail that I've got here. I just. There we go, so that, as near as I can manage, is your plain Jane bun. Nice Victorian governess hairstyle. And we've got a 
kind of back here. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I now encourage you to go out there, find a copy of Jane Eyre that I'm sure you have neglected on a bookshelf somewhere, sit down and read it and get into Jane's story and uh, her highs and her lows. Um, if you want to, you can always use another hair grip just down here, just to sort of pull these side bits together over the ears so they don't uh, disappear. So there you have the plain Jane. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Do enjoy rereading Jane Eyre again, I know I do, and I shall see you tomorrow with another tutorial. Goodbye.